They say iPhones are boring and that they haven't innovated in years, but what if you could change that? What if you could make your iPhone truly yours? This is iPhone focus modes, and it goes far beyond just the do not disturb that blocks notifications. And it's really a way to completely change all of your devices based on what you're doing. So you can effectively combine multiple phones into one. In this video, we're gonna go over how I set up my focus modes and how you can too, how to take focus modes to that next level and completely change your phone and how to make the most of your iPhone with focus modes. Let's get started. So what are focus modes? They're a way to eliminate distractions and put the right content on screen when it actually matters. Built into the settings app and then tapping on focus, you can see all of your options here. The things you can do are allow or block certain notifications, choose which lock screens, home screens, or Apple Watch faces to show, set a schedule based on time, location, or based on when you open an app, and you can filter the content in certain apps like mail. So if you have a work focus, it removes all of your personal emails from view. We're going to go in a lot more detail on how to set up focus modes, but first I'm just gonna show you how I set up my personal focus modes. So how am I currently using my focus modes and why? I think it's important to go through this to help you think about, you know, what can you really do with focus because it goes so far beyond limiting notifications and I really want you to have that context while we actually go through setting yours up. So I have a bunch of categories of focus modes. Practical focus modes that reorganize apps based on what I'm doing, focuses that limit distractions, and then focuses that customize the look of my phone to something that's completely unique. And you may not use all of these categories, but even the ability to shift your phone from personal to work modes are life-changing in a lot of ways. So keep that in mind as we actually go through these. To reduce interruptions and stay focused, I have two focus modes. One is obviously do not disturb, which is automatically enabled at bedtime. It limits what's shown on my lock screen and silences most of my notifications into a separate sleep tab, which I can expand if I want to. Second, I have a mindfulness option, which completely simplifies my phone to make it less addicting, which I use when I'm just spending too much time on my phone lately. The most practical focus modes I have are the ones that reorganize apps based on the task at hand. I have my default, which has all of my apps, a work focus that only shows my office apps and is a lot more professional, even in the background. And I have my workout focus that shows fitness apps. The last focus modes are probably the most fun. I have light and dark modes that don't serve a purpose except for just changing the look and feel of my phone, including the icons and the widgets. Now, if you wanna know how I'm actually using all of these in my day to day, I'll include a chapter on that later in the video. But first, let's actually walk through building a focus mode. But before I do that, I just wanna thank today's sponsor, Megback. I've shown their products with and without sponsorship many times before. And this year they have the Megback Elite case that I get a ton of questions on. This case is a huge change from the original Megback cases that we all know and love. And in my opinion, a huge upgrade. With an all around premium feel, it also provides incredible durability to my phone. And much like the customization I do to my phone, my case also has accent packs to completely change the look and feel from one day to another. With grips that you can simply pull out and swap, the camera ring and much more, it really makes my case feel like it's my own. It has MagSafe built in that's incredibly strong. It has a finger loop that helps you grasp the phone better. It even has a cushion built into the port cover that makes it comfortable to rest your pinky on, which is just an incredible amount of detail. If you wanna pick one up, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Be sure to use my coupon code in the description for additional savings. Now, back to the video. So building a focus really is not that difficult. In this example, I'm gonna take you through a simple work setup so that I can switch my phone between my typical phone and one that's more useful at work. We're gonna set up a lock screen, a home screen, and then connect it to the new focus mode. Starting with the lock screen, think, what do I actually want this to look like? The background I choose here will also be used on my home screen. I'll choose something that's corporate, like a building. You can choose specific widgets for this lock screen, and you can also change the shortcuts that show up on the bottom. Next up, we're gonna create a new home screen by dragging an app over from the app library. Here you can keep adding apps, you can add widgets that work for you until it's set up to your liking. Next, let's quickly put your phone back to how it was before. Press and hold on your home screen to get into that edit mode, tap on the dots at the bottom to show all of your pages, 
and then turn off the home screen that you just created. Next, swipe down to go back to your lock screen, press and hold, and then go back to your previous lock screen. So essentially now your phone should be back to normal at this point. Next, open settings and then scroll down to focus and then tap the plus to add a new focus. I'm gonna create a custom one and I'm gonna name it work and then give it an icon. Next, set up which notifications you want to allow or silence. If you're going to turn off most of your notifications, it's better to say allow notifications from these specific people or apps. If you're gonna leave most apps on, but then just turn off a couple, then it's better to say silence notifications from, and then select those people or those apps. So after that, go to your custom screens and choose the lock screen that we created earlier. Next, select the home screen we turned off earlier. You can also set a certain Apple Watch face if you want to change that along with your focus. Next, choose how you wanna activate this focus. So you could do it manually through the swiping down to the control center, but you could also have the option to add it on a schedule based on a certain time of day, like 9 a.m., or based on a location when you get to work. You could also set it based on opening a certain app if you want to. Lastly, you can use focus filters, which will go even deeper to filter only work calendar accounts, mail, messages, and any other third-party apps that support it. You can even turn off music listening history if you don't want the music you play at work to influence the algorithm of your Apple Music app. All of these, of course, are optional. So that's how you set up a new focus. But for those who saw my more customized focus modes and you wanna know how to take it to that next level, I'll give you some explanations as to how they actually work. But if you want a tutorial on them, let me know that in the comments and I will be sure to get to it. So my mindfulness focus uses an app called Dumb Phone that simply creates a widget with text-based shortcuts to open the apps that I want. I simply set up that widget and then drop it onto my home screen and then change the background to match the background to match the same color as that widget to give it this minimal kind of floating effect. My light and dark mode focuses use all custom shortcuts. That means one by one I created series shortcuts and set a custom icon to each of them. The widget is using the app Widgy, which lets you make your own widgets and I purchased this one from Loki, which gave me a file to import to Widgie, and that made it really easy to simply just place it on my home screen, no real setup required. It all gets really easy once you fully understand how to set up a focus, and then from there, the options are just endless. So now you know how focus modes actually work and what they look like. Here's how I'm actually using them in my day-to-day. -day. I don't just activate a different focus every hour. First, I have my default view, which doesn't limit any notifications or apps, my phone is set up how I actually want it in my day-to-day. -day. Next, I have my action button set to my mindfulness toggle, which is built into the settings in the action button shortcut. That way, anytime that I feel like I'm just using my phone way too much, I tap the button on the side and it immediately simplifies my phone and eliminates any distractions with this simple text-based setup. That's just a personal preference. Next up, I've got a workout fitness and this one actually automatically turns on when I start a workout with my Apple Watch. This completely changes my home screen to bring up only fitness apps to the front and center. Now, based on my office's location, my phone turns to my work focus, which completely transforms my phone to work-specific apps without needing to press anything. And then based on my iPhone sleep schedule, which is built into the clock app, my phone automatically activates my sleep focus when it's time for me to wind down for bed. That's eliminating my distractions, dimming my lock screen, and showing my alarm on the lock screen. Aside from that, I have my customization focuses that I activate through Control Center whenever I wanna completely change the look and feel of my phone, but the only limitation is that it doesn't change the apps on the dock, so I have a second page that's turned on here with the right icons, and then I have to manually drag them into the dock for that more complete look. And for those who wanna know how to get this widget, by the way, it's designed by Loki, an incredible designer. It is a paid widget, but I really love to support these independent designers, especially when they make something so perfect for my devices. It's not an affiliate, but I will leave a link in the description if you want to check that out and support Loki. So that's how I'm completely changing the look of my iPhone. If you have questions, leave them down below. And also let me know how you're actually using your focus on your phone and if this helped you. If you found this valuable, consider sharing it with somebody else who could better use their iPhone. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.